Yep. Welcome to Alien Theorist Theorizing Case File 258, The Billionaire Murder Conspiracy. I'm Braden. I'm Dan. I'm Zell. And I'm Andrew. Woo! You know what month it is? We're doing another special month. We're doing Murder Month. Murder. Yeah. Um. In fairness, that's a wicked mustache, Andrew. Andrew did say mustaches and murder. It's unbelievable. That's why I wanted the theme to be mustaches and murder. And I put it in the group chat. I have a and mustache. I got it's fucking right. Fucking crickets. Sitting there like an well, asshole. I've like, like, I I read. Not. I read and I acknowledged. I acknowledged it in my head and I, I mean, forgot it was You couldn't even give me the dad <laughs> thumbs up. Nothing. Give me, I got nothing, no. boys. The, uh, the only hmm. time. Well, I was worried if everyone said they were going to do it, then I would be peer pressured into doing it. And honestly. Outside of the summer months, um, like peak summer, like July, I can't pull off a mustache, especially winter months. I am cultivating mass right now, and I <laughs> use the rest of this beard to frame my face, or else I just look like a thumbprint. So, yeah. There you go. Okay, like if I turn I mean, sideways, no problem. I will shave a mustache in before the month is over. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I'm, yeah. I'm big talk until I have to put the fucking mask back on at work. And mustaches and masks are a nightmare. So you can have a mustache for yeah. facial hair. I can That's have any. It just have. I have to be able to seal on the side. So I can have a mustache. You can have a goatee. Any t- anything like that. But a little t- little tickler oh, right yeah. there. Oh yeah. But I went for the chic. But it just it, this is just what grows on my face. Like I don't even twist it. It just does it on its own. Yeah. It's amazing. It's a, good, it's a it, honestly, it's a good it's look. It's really yeah. good. You, I feel like you could be ha- not on the street hawking pickle baby merch. Here's the problem: <laughs> is I like I just every time I grow a mustache, I unintentionally just like <clears throat> look just like Charles Bronson. Like I have, there's no control. Look at yeah. fucking Charles Bronson. I just yeah. fucking <laughs> snorted fucking, whiskey onto my keyboard. Like, it's like I'm either a pugilist or I'm fucking Charles Bronson. There's no way around it. But I'll be Tom Hardy playing Charles Bronson. That's better. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, mur- murder month. I mean, over the years of this podcast, we've dabbled here and there in a little true crime, sometimes supernatural, a little conspiracy related. Eh, here, here and there. there. But here one there. thing always has to kind of, you know, be consistent is that <clears throat> it, it has to, you know, have some sort of level of mystery or a paranormal element or a spooky element or alien element. And so that's what we're going to do this this month. We're going to focus on some, you know, some some... More uh, murder, 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 murder. murder. Um, and this one, the the billionaire murders. That is, of course, we're talking. And well, this is a true North mystery, absolutely Canadian mystery. True North, true crime. Um, this is all about you know the billionaires, uh, Barry and Honey Sherman, of Toronto. They were the twelfth Tor- Toronto richest people in Canada, which I think. You know, pretty low worldwide. <laughs> low worldwide, but I mean, you're, you're mu- I mean, it's not bad. As soon as you get to be a multi-billionaire, I mean, you have un- you have well, ungodly that's a wealth. Whole lot of toonies. Oh, yeah. like a ton of toonies. Like it's Scrooge McDuck himself, man. He fell oh, yeah. a pool with that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I mean, so with these cases, there's always a little mystery, a little conspiracy, interweaving, interwoven, interweaving. Yeah, both either work. Still correct. Yeah, yeah both work. But this one uh, from 2017, I remember we briefly touched on it on a power hour back then. We're like, no, this is fucking weird. So well, weird. Like these guys. The reason we touched on it in a power hour, and those listening, uh, I'll do a quick summary of the power hour back then. This quickly touched the news because of, you know, not very often a pair of billionaires die and then. It was um, the I mean, initial Canada. Kind of, it's not very often anybody dies, yeah. <laughs> right? And like. then uh, it, the initial the initial kind of reports that were getting into the news 
was that this was, you know, possibly a murder suicide. And then we talked about it on a power hour because what felt like months after the case at the time, it came out that, you know what? Maybe that was the wrong. It was actually targeted double homicide. Right. And so that it turned into a, you know, the husband killed wife to into someone killed both of these billionaires. And since then, this has spiraled into a wild case of who done it. Five years later. Yeah, it's fucking pretty wild. So like all good cases, you got to start at the beginning. So on the mo- on the morning of Friday, December 15th in 2017, Barry Sherman, multi-billionaire, founder of the big old Canadian pharmaceutical company, Apotech. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you wanna watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.